Clothes dryer, an overview. A clothes dryer, also known as tumble dryer or simply dryer, is a powered household appliance that is used to remove moisture from a load of clothing, bedding and other textiles, usually shortly after they are washed in a washing machine. Many dryers consist of a rotating drum called a tumbler through which heated air is circulated to evaporate the moisture, while the tumbler is rotated to maintain a space between the articles. Using these machines may cause clothes to shrink or become less soft due to loss of short soft fibers. A simpler non-rotating machine called a drying cabinet may be used for delicate fabrics and other items not suitable for a tumble dryer. Drying at the minimum of 60 C 140 F each for 30 minutes kills many parasites including house dust mites, bed bugs, and scabies mites and their eggs. A bit more than 10 minutes kills ticks. Simply washing drowns dust mites and exposure to direct sunlight for 3 hours kills their eggs combination washer dryers perform both functions in one device. Others include steam to shrink clothes and avoid ironing. Tumble dryers. Tumble dryers continuously draw an ambient air around them and heat it before passing it through the tumbler. The resulting hot, humid air is usually vented outside to make room for more air to continue the drying process. It is simple and reliable, and therefore has been widely used. Improvised methods of salvaging the heat for in-home heating. By use of inline vent boxes equipped with a damper to redirect moist heated air to indoor areas, will also increase humidity within a dwelling. Although this may be beneficial in dry winter conditions, excess humidity from these devices increases likelihood of mold, mildew, and bacterial growth inside a home. Indoor venting may also be against local regulations. Gas dryers, unlike electric dryers, must always be vented outdoors as the products of combustion are mixed with the moist air. Building codes and manufacturers instructions usually recommended that dryers vent outdoors. An indoor lint trap kit poses a similar concern of increased humidity within the dwelling long run dryers might have an additional external exhaust fan to boost the exiting moist air through longer sections of vent pipe, as in apartments or dwellings where the vent cannot make a short direct connection from the dryer to the outside. Beyond issues with venting exhaust, other improvised efficiency efforts with conventional dryers attempt to harvest an input source of preheated air rather than using the conditioned air of the living space. One notable source of heat to preheat dryer air is to install ductwork around the device to suck hot air from a dwelling's attic. Tumble dryers are sometimes integrated with a washing machine in the form of washer dryer combos, which are essentially a front loading washing machine with an integrated dryer, or in the United States, only laundry centers, which stacks the dryer on top of the washer and integrates the controls for both machines in a single control panel. Often the washer and dryer functions will have a different capacity, with the dryer usually having a lower capacity than the washer. Tumble dryers can also be top loading, in which the drum is loaded from the top of the machine and the drum's ends are in the left and right sides, instead of the more conventional front and rear. They can be as thin as 40 can in width, and may include detachable racks for drying items like plush toys and footwear. Vendless dryers. Spin dryers. These centrifuge machines simply spin their drums much faster than a typical washer could in order to extract additional water from the load. They may remove more water in two minutes than a heated tumbler dryer can in 20, thus saving significant amounts of time and energy. Although spinning alone will not completely dry clothing, this additional step saves a worthwhile amount of time and energy for large laundry operations such as those of hospitals.
condenser dryers. Just as in a tumble dryer, condenser or condensation dryers pass heated air through the load. However, instead of exhausting this air, the dryer uses a heat exchanger to cool the air and condense the water vapor into either a drain pipe or a collection tank. The dryer air is run through the loop again. The heat exchanger typically uses ambient air as its coolant, therefore the heat produced by the dryer will go into the immediate surroundings instead of the outside, increasing the room temperature. In some designs, cold water is used in the heat exchanger, eliminating this heating but requiring increased water usage. In terms of energy use, condenser dryers typically require around 2 kilowatt hours of energy per average low because the heat exchange process simply cools the internal air using ambient air or cold water in some cases. It will not dry the air in the internal loop to as low a level of humidity as typical fresh, ambient air. As a consequence of the increased humidity of the air used to dry the load, this type of dryer requires somewhat more time than a tumble dryer. Condenser dryers are a particularly attractive option where long, intricate ducting would be required to vent the dryer. Heat pump dryers. A closed cycle heat pump closed dryer uses a heat pump to dehumidify the processing air. Such dryers typically use under half the energy per load of a condenser dryer. Whereas condensation dryers use a passive heat exchanger cooled by ambient air, these dryers use a heat pump. The hot, humid air from the tumbler is passed through a heat pump where the cold side condenses the water vapor into either a drain pipe or a collection tank and the hot side reacts there afterward for reuse. In this way not only does the dryer avoid the need for ducting, but it also conserves much of its heat within the dryer instead of exhausting it into the surroundings. Heat pump dryers can, therefore, use up to 50% less energy required by either condensation or conventional electric dryers. Heat pump dryers use about one core of energy to dry an average load instead of two core for a condenser dryer, or from three to nine core for a conventional electric dryer. Domestic heat pump dryers are designed to work in typical ambient temperatures from 5 to 30 C. Below 5 C, drying times significantly increase. As with condensation dryers, the heat exchanger will not dry the internal air to as low a level of humidity as the typical ambient air. With respect to ambient air, the higher humidity of the air used to dry the clothes has the effect of increasing drying times, however, because heat pump dryers conserve much of the heat of the air they use, the already hot air can be cycled more quickly, possibly leading to shorter drying times than tumble dryers, depending on the model. Mechanical steam compression dryers. A new type of dryer in development, these machines are a more advanced version of heat pump dryers. Instead of using hot air to dry the clothing, mechanical steam compression dryers use water recovered from the clothing in the form of steam. First, the tumbler and its contents are heated to 100 C. The wet steam that results purges the system of air and is the only remaining atmosphere in the tumbler. As wet steam exits the tumbler, it is mechanically compressed hence the name to extract water vapor and transfer the heat of vaporization to the remaining gaseous steam. This pressurized, gaseous steam is then allowed to expand and is superheated before being injected back into the tumbler where its heat causes more water to vaporize from the clothing, creating more wet steam and restarting the cycle. Like heat pump dryers, mechanical steam compression dryers recycle much of the heat used to dry the clothes and they operate in a very similar range of efficiency as heat pump dryers. Both types can be over twice as efficient as conventional tumble dryers. The considerably higher temperatures used in mechanical steam compression dryers result in drying times on the order of half as long as those of heat pump dryers. Convectant drying. 
marketed by some manufacturers as a static closed drying technique, convect tan dryer simply consists of a heating unit at the bottom, a vertical chamber, and a vent at top. The unit heats air at the bottom, reducing its relative humidity, and the natural tendency of hot air to rise brings this low humidity air into contact with the clothes. This design is slow, but relatively energy efficient. It is only marginally faster than line drying. Solar Clothes Dryer the solar dryer is a box-shaped stationary construction which can close a second compartment where the clothes are held. It uses the sun's heat without direct sunlight reaching the clothes. Alternatively, a solar heating box may be used to heat air that is driven through a conventional tumbler dryer. Microwave Dryers Japanese manufacturers have developed highly efficient clothes dryers that use microwave radiation to dry the clothes though a vast majority of Japanese air dry their laundry. Most of the drying is done using microwaves to evaporate the water, but the final drying is done by convection heating to avoid problems of arsing with metal pieces in the laundry. There are a number of advantages, shorter drying times 25% less, energy savings percent less, and lower drying temperatures. Some analysts think that the arsing and fabric damage is a factor preventing microwave dryers from being developed for the US market. Ultrasonic dryers. Ultrasonic dryers use high-frequency signals to drive piezoelectric actuators in order to mechanically shake the clothes, releasing water in the form of a mist which is then removed from the drum. They have the potential to significantly cut energy consumption while needing only one-third of the time needed by conventional electric dryer for a given load. They also do not have the same issues related with lint in most other types of dryers. Hybrid dryers. Some manufacturers, like LG Electronics and Whirlpool, have introduced hybrid dryers that offer the user the option of using either a heat pump or a traditional electric heating element for drying the user's clothes. Hybrid dryers can also use a heat pump and a heating element at the same time to dry clothes faster. Static electricity. Clothes dryers can cause static cling through the tree by electric effect. This can be a minor nuisance and is often a symptom of over drying textiles to an extremely low humidity level. Fabric conditioners and dryer sheets are marketed to correct this condition. History. A hand-cranked clothes dryer was created in 1800 by Empocken from France. Henry W. Altifer invented and patented an electric clothes dryer in 1937. J. Ross Moore, an inventor from North Dakota, developed designs for automatic clothes dryers and published his design for an electrically operated dryer in 1938. Industrial designer Brooke Stevens developed an electric dryer with a glass window in the early years. Lint Build-Up Tumble Dryers Moisture and lint are byproducts of the tumble drying process and are pulled from the drum by a fan motor and then pushed through the remaining exhaust conduit to the exterior termination fitting. Typical exhaust conduit comprises flex transition hose found immediately behind the dryer, the 4-inch 100 mm rigid galvanized pipe and elbow fittings found within the wall framing, and the vent ducted found outside the house. A clean, unobstructed dryer vent improves both the efficiency and safety of the dryer. 
As the dryer duct pipe becomes partially obstructed and filled with lint, drying time markedly increases and causes the dryer to waste energy. A blocked vent increases the internal temperature and may result in a fire. Clothes dryers are one of the more costly home appliances to operate. Several factors can contribute to or accelerate rapid lint buildup. These include long or restrictive ducts, bird or rodent nests in the termination, crushed or kinked flex transition hose, terminations with screen-like features, and condensation within the duct due to uninsulated ducts traveling through cold spaces such as a crawl space or attic. If plastic flaps are at the outside end of the duct, one may be able to flex, bend, and temporarily remove the plastic flaps, clean the inside surface of the flaps, clean the last foot or so of the duct, and reattach the plastic flaps. The plastic flaps keep insects, birds, and snakes out of the dry vent pipe. During cold weather, the warm weather condenses on the plastic flaps, and minor trace amounts of lint sticks to the wet inside part of the plastic flaps at the outside of the building. Fenders dryers include multi-stage lint filtration systems and some even include automatic evaporator and condenser cleaning functions that can run even while the dryer is running. The evaporator and condenser are usually clean with running water. These systems are necessary in order to prevent lint from building up inside the dryer and evaporator and condenser coils. Aftermarket at on lint and moisture traps can be attached to the dryer duct pipe on machines originally manufactured as outside venting to facilitate installation where an outside vent is not available. Increased humidity at the location of installation is a drawback to this method. Safety. Dryers expose flammable materials to heat. Underwriters Laboratories recommends cleaning the lint filter after every cycle for safety and energy efficiency, provision of adequate ventilation, and cleaning of the duct at regular intervals. UL also recommends that dryers not be used for glass fibre, rubber, foam or plastic items, or any item that has had a flammable substance spilled on it. In the United States, the U.S. Fire Administration in a 2012 report estimated that from 2008 to 2010, fire departments responded an estimated 2,900 closed dryer fires in residential buildings each year across the nation. These fires resulted in an annual average loss of 5 deaths, 100 injuries, and $35 million in property loss. The Fire Administration attributes failure to clean 34% as the leading factor contributing to closed dry fires in residential buildings, and observed that new home construction trends place closed dryers and washing machines in more hazardous locations away from outside walls, such as in bedrooms, second floor hallways, bathrooms, and kitchens. To address the problem of closed dry fires, a fire suppression system can be used for sensors to detect the change in temperature when a blaze starts in a dryer drum. These sensors then activate a water vapour mechanism to put out the fire. Environmental impact The environmental impact of closed dryers is especially severe in the US and Canada where over 80% of all homes have a closed dryer. According to the US Environmental Protection Agency, if all residential closed dryers sold in the US were energy efficient, the utility cost savings would grow to more than $1.50 billion each year and more than £22 billion, 10 billion kilograms of annual greenhouse gas emissions would be prevented. Clothes dryers are second only to refrigerators and freezers as the largest residential electrical energy consumers in America and the European Union. The EU energy labelling system is applied to dryers. Dryers are classified with a label from a best to G worst according to the amount of energy used per kilogram of clothes quick. 
sensor dryers can automatically sense that clothes are dry and switch off. This means over drying is not as frequent. Most of the European market sell sensor dryers now, and they are normally available in condenser and venter dryers. Thank you for watching our video on clothes dryer brought to you by the Curific. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye for now.